When you register an account on a WordPress website, you're assigned a user role. These roles are basically sets of permissions for what you can and can't do on that site. Some roles can handle administrative tasks and others can write and edit content and so on. By default, WordPress comes with five user roles for admins to assign. You're probably aware of these roles, but let's briefly review them anyway. You have administrator, editor, author, contributor, and subscriber. Unfortunately, the default version of WordPress does not allow you to alter what permissions these roles have, nor does it allow you to create your own custom user roles. This can be very restrictive. Thankfully, you can use a plugin to edit permissions, and that plugin is called User Role Editor. Once installed and activated, you'll have a new option under Users, User Role Editor. This plugin is straightforward to use. You can select the role to be edited at the top of the page. The list includes all default user roles as well as any custom user roles you may have created. Once you have loaded a user role profile, you'll see a list of what a user assigned to that role can and cannot do. To change permissions for a user role, check or uncheck a field for that capability. New roles and capabilities can be added and deleted through this page too. User Role Editor does not only support core capabilities, the plugin also lists capabilities for any additional functions you have defined through your theme or through plugins like WooCommerce. If you're basing a new user role on an existing role, you can choose to copy permissions from that role. This saves you from having to enable all capabilities again. Capabilities can also be defined on an individual user level. You'll see a link to the user capabilities page in the WordPress user list. If you need to change or sign roles in mass, you can do that here as well. You can find the settings under Settings, User Role Editor. The Default Roles tab allows you to define what role users are assigned when they sign up to your website. This can be useful, but be careful. And with that, you should be in a good place to have perfect control over your WordPress website. If this video helped you, then give it a like, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.